Welcome to Tejas Education. This video is about chemical industry, which comes under lesson manufacturing industry, class 10 geography, CBSE board. Chemical industry contributes to 3% of the GDP. It is the third largest in Asia and occupies the 12th place in the world. MCQ point of view, this is very important. It comprises both large and small scale manufacturing unit. The factory can be small or big. Rapid growth has been recorded in both inorganic and organic sectors. Let's learn about inorganic chemicals and organic chemicals. Inorganic chemicals, which include sulfuric acid used to manufacture fertilizers, synthetic fibers, plastic, adhesive, glue, gum, paint, dye stuffs. Nitric acid, alkalis, soda ash, which are used to make glass, soap, detergent, paper and caustic soda. Kindly go through and try to retain it in your memory. Organic chemical, which again includes petrochemicals, which are used for manufacturing of synthetic fibers, synthetic rubber, plastic, dye stuff, drugs and pharmaceutical. Children, time and again, I have mentioned in my videos that my videos are based on NCRT textbook content because that is the basis. You have to be thorough with the content. Then you can use reference book or any other material available in the internet. This particular question is very important. Why are chemical industries widely spread over the country? Usually the industries are located near the area where raw material is easily available. But in this case, the raw material is lighter, it can be transported wherever it is required. Let's learn about the answer. Organic chemical plants are located near oil refineries or petrochemical plants. The raw material used in this industry is light and easy to transport. And also, chemical industry is its own largest consumer. What is the meaning of this particular sentence? For example, end product of a chemical industry is the raw material for another chemical industry. Let's explain. Basic chemicals undergo processing to further produce other chemicals that are used for industrial application, agriculture, or directly for consumer market. So the end product of one of the chemical industry will be the raw material for another chemical industry. And here the transportation is easier because they are light so do learn this question all the best for upcoming board exam do well thanks for watching thanks again please do like subscribe and share tejas education you will all do extremely well in your upcoming board exam best wishes